In this video, we will work on the new fade in animation or the once animation. When the page loads, we want to reveal the navigation links one by one, stagger them up and then reveal the images. So we will be changing the enter animation. The leave animation will still be just fade out, but the enter animation will change to this. Let's start by revealing these navigation items one by one. So we'll stagger these two links, one after the other. And we want to start when they are outside of the view. And then we'll move them into place like this, back to translate Y0. But we need to make them invisible first and then stagger them up. Okay, so let's go back to the code. The first thing we'll do, we will uncomment all this visibility hidden on our project and hero. This will hide all projects. Projects are the containers with all the images. So each project is now hidden by default in CSS. Now we want to reveal the links first before we reveal all the projects. Okay, so that's why I've put this visibility hidden on the projects. Now in a page, we should see just the links. And now we can target them and reveal them one by one. Let's go firstly to the JavaScript. And before we change the enter animation, we will reset the border on the active link. We want to make sure that it's reversed all the way to outside of the view. So we don't see which link is active. And then as the page loads, we want to move this span into a view and sort of underline the active link. Okay, for that we will use the gsub set twin. We target the span inside of the is active link and we'll use the x% percent 100 to move it away. Okay, minus 100 actually, minus 100 to move it to the left of it where it is originally in the CSS. We're taking it and moving it outside of that container. We're setting the transform origin to be left side of the link of the span. And then we're running this reset active link function inside of the once hook. Okay, now we don't see the black underscore or border bottom. So this is the span that we will now animate. After the two links show up, we will animate it in. So that's how we reset the border. And now before we bring in the projects, we want to bring in these two links in staggered manner. We'll use the gsub from twin on the links inside of the header. And then we'll set a few properties of the gsub twin. Hopefully this is very familiar to you if you've already been to, through my GreenSock 101 on plenty of GreenSock tutorials on the site. We are using the y% 100 as the original or as the starting position. And then we are moving it to wherever they are positioned in the CSS, which is fully visible. Okay, stagger 0 0.2, simple ease on it. And let's comment out the animation enter for now. So we're resetting the link and then staggering them one by one. This is in the browser. We're moving them up. And now we are ready to bring in the animation enter. So we'll copy it and we'll run it in the oncomplete callback. So when this twin is finished, we will want to animate the rest of the page in. Okay, so this is a handy feature of GreenSock, how we can use the oncomplete callback and run the animation enter. Alrighty, so firstly, we'll bring in the two links and then in the animation enter, the rest of the page. Let's go into the animation enter JS and we can remove the original twin that only faded in and faded out. We will not use it. We will instead of that create a GreenSock timeline. We'll give it some defaults. We'll set the default duration and the ease. And to save us some typing, I will bring in some selectors. I'll put it under the video so you can reuse it as well. Simply we're targeting all the projects on the page and the active link. And 
first thing we'll do, we'll make the projects fully visible. So we'll set the auto alpha to one. This will override the CSS visibility hidden on the project. So this will become fully visible. The projects become fully visible at the start of this timeline. And then we will take the active link selector and we want to move the span inside of our link from X person minus 100, or let's make it minus 101, just in case if there is few pixels off. And we want to animate it to X percent zero. Okay, so this will make the link fully underlined and we'll setting the transform origin to be the left side of the link or left side of the span. And if we view this in the browser, we should see at the start of this timeline, the project become visible and the navigation link, the active one should be animated. The underline should be animated. Okay, here it is. We animating the underline of the landscape. And at the same time as the start of the twin, we also showing all the projects in. So these are the first two twins. Now let's explore how the images are positioned inside of the project's container. The image container has a padding bottom hack applied to it based on the aspect ratio of the images with overflow hidden and the image tag inside of it is position absolute with object fit cover and object position 50%. Okay, so that's how it's positioned. And now we can use transform translate X on the image container to move it outside of the view, outside of the project's container. So let's fake it, translate X and set it to some negative value, like minus 100%. And we see it off to the left, which is correct. But as you can see, there is some spacing and that's because the project has a padding on it. But anyway, we'll start with animating the image containers from minus 100, one, minus 100%. So let's bring the selector in. Again, you can find it under the video. And then we will add one more twin to our timeline. Again, for the enter animation, we're using the from twin, okay? We're tagging in the images. And as I said, X percent minus negative value 101% will move that image container outside of the project's container. Okay, we want the images to stagger. So we're adding the 0.1 second delay between each of these twins. And if we look at it in the browser, we see them coming with a slight delay, but also after the animation of the underline happens. Okay, we want that to happen at the same time. That's why we will add the absolute zero after these two twins. So they happen at the same time. As the text gets underlined, we want all images to be staggered in the view. Okay, this looks much better. Of course, there is still issue with the spacing. At the start of the twin, the images are not fully invisible and that's because of the padding on the project's container. So we'll need to mitigate that. Let's pretend the start of the transition where we have the image container and we're moving it to translate X minus 100%. So we're moving it away. And at the same time, we want to move the image to the opposite direction. The image container, the diff with image tag or image class is cropping the image or masking it. So if these two values are the same, but opposite negative or positive values, then the image will be revealed the way we want to. Okay, I've already covered this in Bella quite a lot. It is a simple masking the image the div with the class image masks the image inside of it. And that's how we're going to do this transition. Back in the code, we will add one more selector where we selecting all image tags or IMG tags inside of this container. And we'll stagger them exactly the same way, but we'll change the X 
percent position or x percent value from 100 percent or 101 percent okay that's the opposite of the value we targeting the images the stagger will be the same the delay between these twins have to be the same and also we want all of these happen at the same time so the staggers are matching and then we have negative 101 and positive 101 that's what makes these images reveal nicely to make it even more obvious what's happening let's set a duration on these two twins to five seconds or four seconds that way we'll see exactly how the image is moving in the opposite direction than the image tag inside of it and when we save it and view it in the browser we'll see two twins one on the image or image div with a class image and one on the image tag inside of it okay i refresh again they both end up at zero but both of them are animating from the opposite values okay so that's how we revealing it and of course the duration is too big let's remove it and now we have a cool transition on the page load animating the underline for landscape and then revealing the images one by one using green sock now let's recap what we've done in this video it wasn't too much of the barber code but it's all related to the way we are revealing the page or revealing the projects on the page load firstly we resetting the active link resetting the underline under the active link to be invisible then we are staggering the two links on the page load and at the end of the transition or at the end of revealing of these two links we are running the animation enter function and inside of it we've tweaked this inside instead of a simple twin we returning a timeline where we setting the projects to be visible animating the active link the progress on the active link we're revealing it and then we showing the images okay so hopefully this makes sense hopefully this green sock twins and timelines make sense if not check out my green sock 101 and you can learn more about green sock